Yes, guys. So we are back. We just spoke to KG. Is joining us in a minute. And in the meanwhile, I was going through questions. There are a lot of questions today. Uh, so let's see. How many more questions can we answer? Let's check if he's here. Let's see. Uh, KG, just send us a hello if you have joined the chat. Hi, Maheshwar. When is IPL? When is IPL? IPL, we'll all know whenever, you know, the dates are announced. All of us are waiting for the IPL. Uh, he's joining us in a couple of minutes. ओके कुछ क्वेश्चंस हैं आपके तो अभी भी आप भेज सकते हो हम शॉर्टलिस्ट करेंगे इसमें से भी हारमन सैड लग रहे हो आईपीएल नहीं हो रहा अब तक हो गया यार होपफुली फिंगर्स क्रॉस एक मिनट चेक करते हैं अच्छा नॉट येट अब तक ऑनलाइन तो नहीं दिख रहे हैं तो वेट करते हैं थोड़ा और यार आईपीएल की डेट मैं कैसे बताऊं यार फेवरेट बस मुश्किल क्वेश्चन है रबाड़ा के लिए जो भी क्वेश्चन है आप भेजिए काफी क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं उनका फेवरेट बॉलर कौन है उनके आइडल कौन है फिर और आपके क्वेश्चन देख रहा हूं मैं एट वॉट एज डिड ही स्टार्ट प्लेइंग क्रिकेट सो लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अगर आपका क्वेश्चन नहीं है इसमें तो आप ही भेज दीजिए जल्दी से या हिज या जॉइनिंग अस नाउ हे शंकर हाउ आर यू ब्रो हे मैन हाउ आर यू व्हाट्स अप व्हाट्स अप गाइस हाउ आर यू डूइंग डूइंग वेल डूइंग वेल एवरीवन इज वेटिंग फॉर यू वेरी एक्साइटेड ऑसम यस हाउ आर यू आई एम ओके मैन लाइक Obviously, in South Africa, the lockdown is still uh, in place, so we haven't had the chance to to go and bowl and to use our know, cricket facilities. But okay. the best we can do is to stay to stay uh, nice and oh, as fit as we can regarding strength and conditioning. But otherwise, I've literally been enjoying the break. It's been yeah. really fun to just sort of relax and. Um, get my mind of cricket because the past 5 years have been uh well they've gone by very quickly but yeah. they've they, they there's been a high a uh, volume of cricket being played and constant touring so and yeah it just gives me a nice break true and and i think it's a good time for us to reflect upon those 5 years oh well, exactly let's go let's go for it absolutely so uh, th- just to start the discussion kg just want to know uh, out here in india you know we also have been restricted to our homes now we have uh, started a new thing which is called unlock so now we are slowly opening up people have uh, started going to offices in let's say 10% or 20% capacity at some places so we are slowly opening up how are the situations back in south africa now well right now in south africa it's level 3 uh level 3 means that you allow to a lot of stores have opened up now and there's no curfew you're allowed to visit stores restaurants are open or restaurants uh you you're just not allowed to sit inside restaurants so the only way you can do it is to go through a drive through or to um order uber eats um ubers have always been in always been operational um construction construction work is is starting again so to put it uh to put it uh, basically um there's been quite a lot of uh, economic activity that has been restarted um and so now we wait for level 2 wonderful man. good to hear that yeah um, good to hear yeah. they did say that um they are allowing non contact sport um uh to 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 carry on but that's that's still a bit little bit unclear 
the regulations are a bit broad. Um, and so to really know what, what you can and can't do in most, in some of them, you need to be uh, really um, detailed. Detail. Right, right. So, yeah, as we see, cricket is coming back slowly, right? You know, uh, Australia, I, I believe, has resumed training to some extent. And we have been hearing about the tours happening now, the England tour of the West Indies and England series and all those things. So good to see that some form of cricket is coming back pretty soon. And uh, apart from that, uh, how, how's your routine? You're keeping fit, working out? Yeah, um, at the, for the first for the first month or so, I was just working out at home. Uh, but now, um, I think professional athletes are allowed to go to gyms. That's another one of the regulations yeah. in level three. So... Yeah, um, I started going to gym um, this week. Okay. So just not doing too much as well. Not killing myself. Yeah. Just doing enough to keep me going. Right. And uh, before before this break, uh, you were kind of, you know, getting better from an injury. So the time off has allowed you to heal yourself faster? Um, well, I was, I was, I think I would have been ready for IPO. Okay. It was a, a tear in my groin, but um, I think I healed quite quickly. I, um, so I think I would have been ready for for IPO because it was. I think I was starting to really heal uh, nicely just before I was uh, just before uh, lockdown. Uh, initiated and that's when every, all, all my teammates came back from India after that right. tour which was cancelled yes sad I mean uh, all of us were so excited to see you in India and all, all all the other players as well you know we were all geared up for this IPL coming from, back from a very successful season last year so the excitement was very high this time yeah I mean we had a fantastic uh, season. It was a nicely balanced team, uh, young, and I wouldn't say too old. <laughs> it was actually it was overall a very young team, and uh, that's how I've always known Delhi how to. Uh, that's how I've always known Delhi to be. It's always right. been young. It's always been young and exuberant. So, I was looking forward to that atmosphere, and the fact that we did well last season. Uh, was a massive uh, motivator and uh, yeah it gave us a lot of confidence and showed us that we can uh, we, we compete very well and that we can win so it's a pity it's not happening but yeah. I'm really enjoying this break <laughs> yeah. it's it's visible on your face you look pretty relaxed right now <laughs> I actually started a a um, my friend and I are busy with uh, we're busy on the creative side of things in the in this in the realm of production, mm-hmm. and one of the one of the one of the things or one of the projects we came up with is is called the viral wellness, and basically it's just about we basically we <coughs> uh, we record uh, podcasts on on um, on wellness and and spreading wellness whether it be physical wellness, um, educational wellness. Um, mental wellness, and we we get leads who come and speak, um, who give the insight, and then we just make it very fun, and we get okay. professionals to come on there, to write the script, and um, and then we just make it very fun by writing out the script and adding sound effects, and at the end coming up with solutions. So this this first series was basically about. Um, uh, COVID-19 and how it's affecting uh, certain parts in our lives. And basically, it's, very, it's, it's a very informative project that is also solution-based. It was called the Viral Wellness. You can search it on Buzzsprout yeah. or if you, type it in, if you type it in on Google. Uh, okay. we're, actually the, we're actually the first one that, that, comes, that pops up. That's quite cool. Okay. Okay. We'll check that out. <laughs> because uh yeah I, I i've been hearing things about you know uh 
your love for music and your friend uh, I, i believe he's a dj so you're pursuing that as well so how's that shaping up yeah um i did it through red bull i'm a red okay. bull athlete right yeah so i'm a red bull athlete and uh, i got a chance to meet an artist named his name is takapo i don't think a lot of indians uh, would be familiar with him but he's more he's a dj he would dj's uh it's called house music but like afro tech house uh like ibiza vibes but with african influence and that's a really that's a big sound that's coming in i'm not sure if you guys are aware of black coffee black coffee is a dj is is one of the best uh, dj's in the world it's from south africa so that type of music so i got a chance to create a song with the couple um and uh, djing i've just always done i also yeah. remember djing in south africa there's a red bull cart red bull cart um race and uh i djed at the after party there and i djed at some events so it's just a hobby so it's quite cool music is quite cool get your mind off things get your uh, things get your mind get it gets your mind <laughs> off things <laughs> it's, it's okay man it's cool pretty cool you know uh and uh t- coming back to cricket uh, I-, i mean i i've been wondering uh, how-, how cricket is going to look like right now you know without the fans uh talking about uh, fast bowlers you know you can't shine the ball using saliva the celebrations are not going to be same so that's one thing you know you are very passionate so i don't know how you're going to deal with the celebrations uh, so w- what do you reckon H- how different are things going to be i think the world needs to move on but the the disease cannot spread therefore you know you have you, you can't have any people in the in the stadiums which is going to feel really bizarre i can already feel it um but playing here at home like playing franchise games sometimes the, the stadiums are empty but just on the international circuit it's going to feel really weird you having you're playing against the the world's best players and really there's 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 no support um but at the end of the day i think the competition will still be there uh no one wants to you know um get dominated no ma- it doesn't matter who you are so the competition will be there and at least uh, i guess people can see still will still see good cricket on television absolutely and i have few few questions to go along with what you said but i i think i'll have to wait and take some fan questions because they have been very excited and sending questions over the last couple of days okay so, yeah yeah uh mohit pal has asked who is your favorite bowler like all time favorite bowler that's really hard to say i admire a lot of bowlers um i admire them for the type of skill set that they have So I wouldn't say I have one favorite bowler but I really did enjoy as a South African I really did enjoy watching our team uh, South Africans always had brilliant bowlers Australians um so this bowlers everywhere Pakistanis uh they always produced um f- fantastic uh fast bowlers I enjoyed watching uh, Muhammad Asif I think he was a maestro um Yeah. I respect a lot of bowlers. I respect a lot of players. Uh Dale Steyn was amazing. Um Shane Warne also another maestro. Murali. Yeah. There's just too many to pick one, you see. Jimmy okay. Anderson. Uh yeah. ca- can we do one thing? Uh we- we'll do one thing. Let KG create a perfect fast bowler, okay? <laughs> you have okay. to pick the pace of one bowler. the line and length of one bowler the swing of one bowler and aggression of one bowler so four attributes and okay yeah i choose the pace of shoaib akhtar i choose the line and length of glen magra and the bounce okay. and the bounce yeah um the aggression i choose the aggression of Dale Steyn and then what else was what other one did you ask for aggression a uh, swing swing is something yeah we didn't talk about the swing ah 
has to be Jimmy Anderson at the swing. Yeah, he's yeah. under swinging conditions. He can do whatever he wants with it. Absolutely. Yeah. That sounds like a lethal combination. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would love to. I'd love to be that bowler. <laughs> <laughs> I think cricket would be much easier. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, KG uh, Gomez is asking if you wouldn't have been cricketer, what would you be? I think I would have tried playing another sport. As South Africans, you know, yeah. we, we grow up playing a lot of sports. Um, we grow up playing a lot of sports and it's just something that we do. Uh, one thing I've realized is that overseas, a lot of, uh, especially in India, I feel like it's, uh, people concentrate on cricket. Um, but... Probably I, I would have tried playing rugby or like football or something. <laughs> or I would have been in varsity studying law and like, I don't know, protesting that fees must fall. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, that was, that was a real joke. But yeah, um, I, I, would have, I would have been a, probably a student or I would have tried to pursue another another career in, in another sport. Okay. That would be interesting. And I, I, I think you started, play, uh, initially you played rugby as well, like you said. That's it. Okay. Rugby. Yeah. So rugby o- over here, you, yeah. Yeah. Over here, usually we concentrate on one sport and that's the difference between cultures, I believe. You play multiple sports yeah. according to... Yeah. I think, I think it's a good thing though because, you know, look at Indian cricket. They've got so many people to choose from. And it's really concentrated where they they sticking to a few sports. And I think that highlights, you know, there's a love for cricket in India. And I think that's a reason why, you know, at, why they've always produced really good players. It's because people are devoting their uh, players, uh, right. or people are devoting their time to it. That's, that's, right. that's something that uh, South Africa will... That's that. Yeah, the devotion is important. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's move to another question by Saad. It's a nice question. Saad is saying, "Do you usually follow your heart or your mind?" <laughs> um, I would say you follow your heart when necessary, and follow your mind when necessary. So it's a balance. So when it comes to the important things like family and what is really important to me, you generally follow your heart. Nice. Okay, uh, we'll take last that's a very question. Vague, before, that's a yeah. very vague question. <laughs> yeah, that's why we took it, you know. It, it wanted to get your perspective because we know uh, when you're off the field, the things you talk enlighten yes. us all. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the next question is, I, I feel it's a very important question, given the current situation. The question is, how do you overcome negativity? And uh, how to be strong while facing personal problems? So how do you deal with problems in a simple way, if I have to ask? I think you need to, first of all, realize what's affecting you. And then find a way so that it doesn't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's literally what I feel. That's what I think. Um, and then yeah. there could be you know, tons of solutions. You know what I mean? There's, I don't think there's a right and a wrong. Uh, but I think you need to remain positive and, and try to find a solution. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in it, you know? Right. So just shout out uh, Divi Venkata Jagdish had asked that question. So, yeah. I think uh, we'll move from a uh, bit of philosophy to some cricket now. Okay, awesome. Yeah, okay. So, uh, KG, uh, 2014 uh, Under-19 Cricket World Cup happens to be the only World Cup which South Africa have won, right? Yes. And your performance was phenomenal in that World Cup, especially uh, your performance in the semi-final against Australia, 6 for 25. Was that the stage where you feel felt yeah, that you can translate that success and go on to achieve bigger things for uh, the South African team? Um, I, I saw that the Under-19 World Cup uh, stage as a 
platform to announce yourself to the world and to really get a taste of international cricket. It was my first year out of school. And so I was really glad to play in that tournament and play against the um, other, other players around the world. It's always exciting. And you always want to measure how you, how you are against them. And having to always wa want to be the best, you always you know, want to, to, to beat uh, the, the players that you, do to, that you play against. It's a challenge. And um, there, you know, it was a challenge for us to win the World Cup. And uh, thankfully, we did. It was an awesome, awesome uh, tournament. Uh, one of my most uh, prized memories was winning that Under-19 World Cup in such a spectacular place, Dubai. Um, it's really you don't get a, you don't get many places like Dubai. And as a young uh, guy, uh, straight out of school, winning a World Cup in a place like Dubai was amazing. And that sort of made me more excited to play um, international cricket and to, you know, try and shine my light on that stage. Wonderful. And, uh, and, and you truly went on to do great things after that, you know, because my next question, I think I'll have to show you a picture before moving on to the next question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I so, to... Yeah. I, I mean, what is it with six wickets, man? You love taking six wickets. A lot of six <laughs> first. And those, oh. all, all those are iconic. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a really special moment. I was in Dhaka. Um, I remember I made my debut in 2014 in Australia. And then I made my ODI debut. Oh, I made T20 debut, sorry, in Australia. And ODI debut in Dhaka. And then I remember that day I was, I was, I was a bit late because I, I, I think I bowled a bit extra just to, to get ready. Then I go into the change room and it was very humid in Dhaka uh, or Dhaka. So then I had skins on and you know, the skins, they get, they stay, they stick onto your skin. It's very tight. And yeah. because it was humid, I'm trying to take it off because I'm sweating so much. I can't. So it's like stuck yeah. over my head like this. And we're supposed to go out and bowl. <laughs> so then David Miller comes back in and he helps me take this thing off. I put my shirt on and I was late. I was actually late. <laughs> so then I run out and Dave was like, uh, you're going to have a good day. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I feel good. I got to the team huddle. I was late. And then I, I think I bowled the first over. And then... I think I'm not sure what over the hat trick happened in, but um, I just remember, I just thought, nah, just bowl a Yorker to Tamim. I think it was Tamim Iqbal. The yeah. ball actually didn't swing because it was swinging, but he wasn't, he, he, played, he played for the swing, swing, I think. Yeah, but it didn't swing. It just sort of held its line. Um, and then I think he played around it or played inside it. And then the next two wickets, I mean... <laughs> They just had Mamadula was, oh no, first it was uh, Sabir. I think he just clipped it straight to midwicket. I was like, oh, that's a bonus. The ball, that ball I bowled there was just okay. And then Mamadula, that ball just nipped back. Um, yeah, and then it happened. <laughs> wow. So uh, you were 20 that time, right? I was twin, uh, 20. either 19 yeah, or 20. Yes. 20. And, uh, I mean, taking a hat trick, six wicket haul, you know, people started saying, okay, KG is the next big thing in cricket, you know, he's going to go on to become a legend. So did that add pressure onto you at such early stage? No, not at all. I, I, I feel like it's the, the reverse happened. Well, actually, I think when I first started playing, I felt much more liberated than I am now. You would think that it gets easier, but it actually doesn't get easier. It actually gets harder. And I'm at a stage now in my career where um, I'm actually learning the most. So it's definitely not easy. It actually gets harder until you, you make it easier for yourself again. Um, so that's the challenge I'm going through right now. But um, there's obviously more pressure. And you get older and you have to grow up and you realize you have to take into account so many things. But, you know, I think um, just getting back and liberating yourself uh, as much as possible is the best way to approach it. Um, yeah. Wow. 
I I I feel like uh, we're going to make all court cards out of what you're saying. You know, every line you're saying is worthy of a court card for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how I feel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so the next one, uh, after you made your test debut, few months later, uh, you played against England, and yeah. again, I I I think. Uh, this was probably uh, one of your best performances 13 wickets in a test match what yeah. do you think this was your best performance in test cricket till now or there are other performances which you rate equally good in terms of figures that's my best performance right. but i don't think, uh, i don't think uh, in terms of the context it was i think uh, my most cherished one was uh, in in perth uh, the attack was myself dale uh, keshav maharaj made his debut and uh, Vernon Philander and uh, Dale uh, was struggling with uh, sh- shoulder issues and then uh, during the test match he actually broke down his shoulder um, I, th- I think it was broken if I'm not mistaken mm. and we're down to a two uh, two seamer attack um, and a debutant spinner and Australia we I think we were bowled out for 240 odd overnight Australia overnight I think were about 80 for no loss so we were really under the pump the next morning Dale got the first breakthrough I think Warner on 97 out and uh, before and then the next over that's when Dale broke down but then we we put in a really good bowling performance I think Vern took four for I took two for and Keshav took two for does that make sense Keshav took one, I think, and then Dale got the other one, um, okay. and then we bowled Australia out. And then the second innings, I got uh, Pfeiffer, and then we ended up winning that Test match from being completely down and out. Yeah, yeah, one of the best feelings, you know, to come back in a Test match and turn it around. Yeah, so I think that was like one of my most memorable tours uh, to date. Okay. and uh after the 13 wickets haul you know there's something you said i i want to read it out for all our fans uh okay. you said the key is to do it for 15 years not one game so you proved i mean if we look at the journey you have proved that you were not a one game wonder or a one year wonder you have been doing it consistently so tell us about that attitude yeah. you have that's that's the tough that's the tough part you know and that's what every player strives to achieve to do it for a long time um but you know you don't want to look too far ahead uh, just taking it game by game and just trying to improve your game is the most important thing well that's what i feel um and yeah you learn you learn tons of things <laughs> as you as you grow um yeah if i had to say them out chat and chat and chat for too long but i think the moral of the story is that I've learned to just take it uh, just uh day by day. Okay. And uh KG talking about success, you know, there there's one uh, favorite picture of ours. We absolutely love that picture. And um, it it speaks volumes when it comes to success. I'll show you the picture and talk a bit about it. Okay? okay. So, yeah, that season we were talking about you I think yes. you swept swept through everything. Uh, what what was it uh, let me try and uh, count uh, cricketer of the year yes. best cricketer of the year yes. uh, play, players player of the year yes. fans player of the year yes. uh, t20 cricketer of the year i guess no uh, or no, no. t20 delivery of the year yes yes so so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah, yeah did i miss six, out on anything six, okay so i'll re- uh, recall it a uh, cricketer of the year test cricketer of the year odi cricketer of the year uh players player of the year fans player of the year and t20 delivery of the year so these are your six awards the ram delivery of the year oh. how does it mm-hmm. feel when all your hard work you know you put in reaps such rewards i think when you when you play you don't think about the rewards uh all you think about is going out and performing your craft that almost just comes in second nature that comes in naturally you don't want to be at the top of your mark saying i want to bowl really well so i can win awards um i think that comes in second nature but in saying that 
I'm really honored and proud uh, to have received those awards. They're in my room. Um, and yeah, they, they can serve as motivation as well, you know? Right. And, 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 yeah. and, and does the same thought go when it comes to you achieving the number one ranking in test cricket? I mean, you were the youngest one to be the uh, number one fast baller in test cricket. So same feeling that is just a byproduct of what you're doing on the yeah, field? Man, it, it just feels really surreal, you know, at the time. Like, whoa, number one, oh. And you just keep hearing stats like, oh, you did this there and you did this there and you're the first to do this and that. You're like, oh, that's pretty amazing. But nothing changes. You still have another game of cricket to play. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's an honor to, to be you know, um, acknowledged like that. It's something great and it's, 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 it's a motivator. But at, at, the, in, at the top of your head, you rather won't, don't need to have those things because those things are a byproduct you know yeah absolutely and uh, I would again want to read out one very nice quote from you <laughs> okay. okay the quote is when you play with emotion that's when you become dangerous oh yeah this is what you had <laughs> said okay and and you truly live by your own words right the passion and aggression is what makes you kagiso rabada so yeah. uh, doesn't it like what do you feel? Yeah, man, like when I, a lot of people feel like I have a short temper. I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. I think it's just passion. Um, I mean, also on the game, uh, it, I mean, sledging, if you ever look at sledging, it's a part of the game. It's what every fast bowler does. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if you look at, there's no fast bowler who's going to be nice to a batter. It's not like you, you're being personal and telling people about their family and whatever. I mean, it's just, it's a game of cricket and we also get sledged, I also get sledged and you take it. You have to take it and move on and you give it out as well. And when you celebrate a wicket, you celebrate. After the game, you're going to shake the guy's hand and you're going to respect his craft. You know, that's just the way I feel. Um, so I think, I think sometimes, you know, um, a, a, an emotion can ignite you. And that's when I feel like I'm the most dangerous because that's when I just let everything loose. And that's when you stop thinking and everything becomes automatic. Um, um, that's for me when I've bowled my best is when I'm not thinking. Um, yeah. When I respond positively is when I'm not thinking. And when I do things, you know, just automatically and with a clear intention. Yeah. And, and how much do you attribute this, like how much of this comes from the crowd or all of this comes within, from within? I think it comes from within. The crowd is always great to have. It's, it's lovely to have, but I think it comes from within. But the crowd as well can help with that. Really, they can help with that. I remember when I was bowling that super over, you know, and you hear the, the crowd cheering you on. It just, you know, it gives you that spring in your step. Wow. And, and you spoke about, you know, people saying you're short-tempered. Uh, but yeah. I, I, I'll tell you a few things, you know, uh, inside the whole our management team, the social media team, you remember we, all of us used to hang out around. So, uh, uh, Suprata used to call you Saint Rabada, if you remember. And it's called uh, me what? Saint, Saint Rabada. Oh, Saint, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm with my friend. Yeah, I, 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 There's my friend. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, did you tell him about your nickname, Saint Rabada? Um. Yeah, no. I, I don't know why she actually called me that. I'll I'll tell you why because what I used to tell you is you know uh, when we look at you from outside. Before last season, I, I didn't really spend time with you. So I didn't know you personally. But when we saw you, before meeting you, there's a perception, right? You're a fast baller. We have seen you on the field, aggressive, sometimes very aggressive. So we have a perception. Okay, this guy is someone who's always going to be angry. And mm. when we talk to you, there's so much calmness in you. Mm. I mean, you, you feel like a guy, if someone abuses you, you're just going to look at him and smile. So, so most that, of the time, yeah. 
<laughs> so so that's you completely opposite you know that demeanor of let's say lord buddha someone who is so calm from his head okay go on say whatever you want i am calm so these are completely different personalities on and off the field yeah i'm, I'm also not not like really aggro all the time on the field as well um but that's just international cricket and you know every player wants to be the best you know that's just the drive that that's the drive coming out you know as cricketers all of, all of us will say we put in a lot of work to play we 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 under a lot of pressure as well we put in a lot of work um we grind you know all for for the the people's entertainment but also for ourselves and it's nice to see when you get results is you don't just play a game of cricket it's not like that. it doesn't work like that you know yeah. absolutely and 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 talking about results we'll talk about a reward which you got for your result <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so the question is very simple does your girlfriend still complain about <laughs> the kisses you get from pap <laughs> um i'm not with her anymore <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, she she did she did complain for a little bit. She did. That was that was a nice joke, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, there was a little bromance going there between myself and Faf. <laughs> yeah, because because th- th- this has been uh, one of the top demands from the fans. You know, talk about this, talk about this. So we had to yeah. put this in here. Yeah. By the way, guys, this is the guy I'm doing uh, viral wellness with. His name is Cameron Scott. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, how are you? So that's my partner. I'm well, thanks. How are you doing? Doing well, doing well. Everyone is great in India. That's really good, man. That's really good. I've heard so much about your people and your generosity from KG. Yeah, just hope. Yeah, we KG. Next time, get him along to India. You know, during IPL, so he can see that atmosphere in the stadium. Sorry, I I I got you off track. <laughs> no, no, no problem. A- any anyway, we were about to shift the track. We were about okay. to go to the IPL. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. The fun part. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So so, the fun part. Great memories. I mean, uh, we ended the wait of seven years last season. How 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 would you describe last season for our team and for you personally? Because there were some. milestones on the way yeah oh man i think we had such a fantastic season unfortunately we could not go all the way and there was a bit of late drama as well with myself <laughs> having to pull out oh. yeah. but um on and off the field it was by far the most enjoyable ipl season i've had it was really amazing uh i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it um and i was hoping for more of the same oh i'm hoping for more of the same in the next ipl um it was just a lot of fun a lot of absolutely fun. absolutely and uh, kg one of the sad points for all of us was to see you go you know uh, due to that injury so personally for you when you were on a song you know uh, you were putting up your best performances in the ipl how does it feel to suffer an injury and leave the team at such a crucial stage yeah i mean i would have loved to play especially that game against chennai i think we were battling to play in the final uh, i was so badly wanted to make a difference uh, but with the world cup coming around it was i thought about it long and hard and then uh, with the consultation um it was best uh, the decision was was made that it's best to go home but I would have loved to make a difference. Uh, absolutely, no doubt about that. And you know, talking about other players, uh, whoever we have spoken to, the thing that stands out in the discussions is the team atmosphere, the kind of atmosphere all of you built together last year. Uh, what do you think about that? The atmosphere that we built um, was really amazing, and the crowds. they were touring with us as well <laughs> that was very that was fantastic to see they had a uh, uh, chance for every single player in the team um uh, we were embracing that uh, uh football culture which was really dope to see um we had we had uh, as much as we were serious in the camp 
um, as a team and as a management staff, we also had a lot of fun. Um, if, after every game, we would, you know, sit back and enjoy. And if, whether we won or lost, um, but we were also very professional, you know. That was the that was the key. We had fun and we enjoyed each other's uh, uh, we enjoyed each other's um, uh, what's the word? It's not it's escaping success. my mind. <laughs> success and company. Right. And uh, yeah, you spoke about the fans. You know, uh, uh, they are called DC Tolly, the uh, fan official fan That's club it. or the fan group. Yeah. So uh, they they travel. A bus full of fans to Punjab, to yep. Rajasthan, and yeah. e- even during the qualifier, they they came to cheer song. Mm. So pretty exciting to see them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, very exciting, very exciting, and hopefully we can see more of it. Absolutely, and uh, Kiji, you uh, also equaled a record last year. You equaled the record of a fellow South African, Mone Mokul. Uh, yes. So he had he yeah he had the record of most wickets in an IPL season by a Delhi bowler. So you equaled oh, that really? record last year. Yeah. So what what do you oh. think actually clicked last season for you? Hmm. I don't know. It's just good form. It's just good form, and as a player, you just need to find out you know what it is you're doing at those times. And make sure you do that all the time. But it, it's not as easy as it sounds. It's literally just good form. You can't really explain it. Can't really, I, I mean, I, w- I could explain it, but I would probably bore you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't bore us. You know, it's, it's quite interesting. Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, let's not talk about the entire season. Let's talk about specific moment, okay? And okay. trust me, the fans are not going to forgive me if I don't ask this to you, okay? Here you go. I mean, what do I say? <laughs> the floor is yours. Uh, well, we, we, I think we just, just lost to Chennai the game before. It's four o'clock. Uh, we had just lost to Chennai the game before. And we were like, okay, no, we really need to win this game. And yeah. so um, I remember we bowled first. I think we bowled them. We bowled KKR out for, I think, 180, I think. And then... We were looking as if we were going to win that game. I think Prithvi almost yeah. got 100. He had a good right. partnership with Shreyas. And then we ended up tying the game in the end from a position where we could have easily won that game. And we're like, oh, super over. Okay. Yeah, now there's more pressure. So now I'm waiting. I'm in my, my warm-up kit. I'm like, okay, who's going to bowl this over? Could be... It's, it's going to be one of the seamers. That's what I'm thinking. So they're like, okay, I'm going to bowl it. Like, I'm like, okay. So we, we, we went downstairs and then we batted first. I think we made 10 and the target was 11. And then uh, we just decided the plan. Ricky, Ricky and Saurabh came to me uh, and James, uh, the bowling coach. And they're like, well, what are you going to do? I say, okay. Mm, the wicket was a bit tacky, but with Russell there, who was on... He was in magnificent form. Seems seemed as as if he could hit any ball for for six. So we're like, okay, I think the best bet is to go Yorkers and just nail it. Um, and then we're like, okay, that's the plan. Uh, if if anything changed, then I was gonna improvise uh, in that over. But luckily, I didn't have to. I remember I bowled a low full toss, the first ball, and Russell clipped it. Uh, backward of square leg and I think it was I can't remember who was fielding there but they didn't they lost track of the ball so I was like oh great stuff you lost track <laughs> of the ball which I don't blame you for that but you lost track of the ball the ball has gone for four great stuff now they need seven to win or five balls now it's looking it's looking as if you know they aren't oh not looking they are on top so I was like okay fine do I change? No, don't change. I remember I bowled the Yorker um, and followed him. And then uh, he he dug it out. I think it was a perfect Yorker. It just wasn't uh, on, the, on the stumps because I had to follow him. And then the second, uh, the third ball, um, which is the one yeah. 
uh, displayed on screen was the the Yorker that that got uh, Andre Russell out, and that's when I really, really, really started to believe. Although I never completely lost my belief, that's when I really started to believe because I was like, okay, I can do this. And I knew uh, Dennis Kartik, he loves to uh, ramp. So we put the fine leg finer. And I was like, well, it's you or me. So I pulled him the Yorker. And he, he actually got a good piece of willow on it. He just tried to uh, lap it fine. Uh, and, but the fielder was there. And he cut it down to only one. So that was really great. Um, and then from there, with one ball remaining... I think. No, I think I, I bowled to Utapa first. He got a single. Then Dinesh Kartik lapped it, and then with one ball remaining, they needed six or five. And I was like, "Okay, yeah. it's in the bag. All you have to do is bowl a half decent Yorker. That's all you have to do now." And yeah. Wow, amazing! The game is still fresh. You know, everyone was on the edge of their seats. The entire Kotla was on the edge of their seats. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember, KG, after the match, uh, in the press conference, a lot of people asked you, what was your plan? What was your plan? And one thing that stands out is you said, I felt your curse. You know, you said you yeah. feel your curse today. So you bowled your curse. And that's yeah. where one of the fan question has come in. And I uh, want to take it up. Uh, the question is by uh, Segal Manav. He's saying, do you believe in the power of visualization? Yeah, visualization is, is good to have. Um, I don't do it a lot, but it's good to have because you can picture yourself in a certain um, uh, uh, position. Um, but it's just up to you, you know, what works for you. Sometimes it works for me, and I think it's a powerful tool to use. But yeah, it depends, uh, as you've said, what you feel. I remember one of my most cherished uh, tours was uh, the tour that we played in 2015 in India. We had a really good team and India had a good team as well. And we won uh, <laughs> Fudgy. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, won, uh, we won the tour 3-2. Um, um, and I remember in the first ODI, the plan there was in the death was to bowl hard length and that worked um, so plans don't really have to be rigid it's just w what you feel is going to work yeah sorry I was laughing there because Fahan Behadin says yeah. I got the bum fluff on my cheeks yeah I've been reading the <laughs> that's it was a lockdown problem see yeah <laughs> great uh, so uh, KG also wanted to talk about you know a couple of our uh, players uh, you got to the Delhi team in 2017, I believe. And uh, at the same time, there were a couple of youngsters in the team, uh, Shreya Sayer, Rishabh Pan. And uh, three of you have grown massively in last three, four years. You know, you have all have gone to become those world beaters today. So what kind of conversations do you have with these guys? Uh, say that again. I'm saying... Uh, you, Shreyas and Rishabh, you know, in last three, four years, you guys have gone on to become the world beaters. So what kind yeah. of conversations do you have with them? Because all of you are probably the same age group. Rishabh is probably younger, but, you know, uh, what conversations do you have with them? Yeah, I was in the same, same age group with Shreyas. Uh, we played mm -hmm. against each other. I remember we went on an under-19 tour to India. Um, and yeah, we've known each other since then and also in, yeah, in Delhi. But the nice thing is that we can relate as young, young players because we, we have the same ambition, ambitions as young players. And you know, as a young player, you still, need, you still need to conquer some of your goals, you know. So definitely from that perspective, we could relate. And also just in what we do off the field, the music we listen to, um, the game, the video games you play. You know, so many times you're around people who are much older than you are and you can't really, you know, do that. So the culture is also a bit different um, in that regard. It makes you feel like, you know, you're chilling with your peers again, uh, especially when you are playing cricket. So 
that's all is there yeah. uh a lot of fans are also asking about your pace and uh that that reminds me of something last ipl the four fastest deliveries ball in the entire ipl belong to you 154.23 being the fastest out of that so usually you know it, it's a big advantage for fast bowler to have that sort of pace and batsmen tend to make more mistakes because you're giving them lesser time do you think that's one of your most potent weapons just as 150 wow <laughs> to definitely uh, rev those speed guns up but um, i think i think that pace pace is important um it definitely does unsettle uh, the batters um but um mostly you know it's just an eight but what it comes down to is skill and what you can do with the ball then the pace is just an an eight you know that's what i think um and yeah i'm glad that i that i have it and uh, not take it for granted uh, i've just turned 25 2 weeks ago <laughs> you know hopefully hopefully yeah. i keep it yeah okay great okay uh, so uh, kg i'll just like to call out couple of more records you know uh you are the bowler who has got the all time best bowling average and strike rate in the ipl so far oh wow yeah so so that's one record on your name oh nice see another one oh it's great okay a uh, couple of uh, fans are asking uh, again going back to your passion for djing and how you have been pursuing it during the lockdown the question is uh, which delhi capitals team mate has got the best tunes and probably who doesn't um i don't i'm not sure who doesn't but who does uh, you know you have uh, prithvi show and shreyas i are always the ones dancing um and they dance to a lot of like Uh, a lot of trap you know the youngsters these days we listen to trap and uh, the latest pop um, ah! so <laughs> and how did <they> that <laughs> no um but they yeah i'd say i'd say shreyas was the man in charge of the tunes and prithvi yeah. and then rishab yeah. would play his, his punjabi tunes yeah <laughs> yeah Okay so last question before we move on to our last segments okay uh, what was your most favorite <laughs> okay no problem what was your most favorite off field memory from last ipl mm, that's a tough one Oh I think we we went away and played in Kolkata um and we we beat them I think Shikhar got 100 from if I'm not mistaken mm, he, I, uh, not 100 I believe but yeah a good yeah. score but that was really such a good chase to watch phenomenal chase oh and the Rajasthan chase that was really really cool to see I yeah. think Rishab Rishab scored Rishab, there Rishab yeah Yeah but yeah. that was I think that was a must win game for us and uh, Rajasthan had been losing so they were bound to win we were like damn is this the game they're going to win but there was a phenomenal run chase it was nice we I think we I think we restricted them to on a very good batting track and a fast outfield we restricted them to well they made 200 I don't know if you restrict someone to 200 <laughs> but then they <laughs> But then we we chased we chased it down it was phenomenal to watch amazing and uh, in terms of off field also you know we we remember a lot of moments like uh, the post match celebrations we used to have or those discussions all players used to get together you know irrespective we win we lose everyone got together and had that conversation late in the night so that was something which really stands out yes exactly um um do uh moving forward we just kind of relax and um wind down and have have a beer or two and that was that was really nice and, and it 
took your mind off of things and just re- and calmed us down. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I, one compliment coming your way from Sanjeev. He's saying, I think you will end up being the highest wicket taker in the world. Oh, damn. That's Murali. Murali is 800. I don't know <laughs> if I'll get there. <laughs> no, yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah. 800, wow. I'd have to play for, I'd have to bowl a lot of overs and play for much longer than I anticipate. Absolutely. And uh, Yash Sharma is saying, how did you feel to meet Shreyas at the NBA? Oh, that was really dope. That was dope. Um, I think it's obviously Shreyas went to the NBA India. I went to the NBA Africa. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice to, to see him there. And it was nice to to wind down and like do something else other than cricket. <laughs> that was a really awesome traveling the world as cricketers we're lucky to travel the world um yeah. i was always going to go to america um but then i, I had the chance to go there uh, it was really fun yeah and it was great to see you guys together yeah hopefully um I, i'm aware that um we might be doing it again but um we've been we've been, uh, we've been chatting with with the guys from nba africa i'm pretty sure um, Shreyas would be, would be, would be going again uh, next time it happens. Um, so that would be nice, nice for it to happen again. Love it. Okay, uh, KG. Uh, I think we'll uh, move on to our, our last segment so we can wrap it up in next about five to ten minutes max. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll show you a video before starting. Uh, the. I won't say anything. I'll just show you the video first. Maybe, uh, hope you can hear it. I can't hear it. Okay. I can't hear it, but I remember what I was doing. Yeah. So, uh, there was a, a famous dialogue from a Bollywood movie wherein uh, you you said that picture abhi baki hai mere dost means the movie is still remaining. You know, this is just the trailer movie is still remaining. Uh, say, say that again. Uh, you said, "Picture abhi baki hai mere dost," which means Picture the movie abhi is abhi still remaining. Mere dost. Yeah, and okay. trust me, we have uh, put this video at least ten to twelve times throughout the year, on different occasions, and it still doesn't get boring. You know, it's still yeah. that interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to do so, more. <laughs> okay, so so let's do one thing. Uh, because you trouble a lot of ballers with your pace, specifically 154.23. So we are going to give you 154.23 seconds to try and do as many Bollywood dialogues as possible. Okay? Okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to say the dialogues and you repeat it. Okay. Yeah. Here okay. we go. The first dialogue is, Kitne Admi Te? Kitne? Admi the. Kitten me admi the. Kitten me admi ke. Te. Kitten me. Kitten me admi ke. Te. Kitten me admi the. Kitten me admi ke. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you're close. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the second one. We are running out of time. Second one is. Mogambo Kushua. Mogambo Kushua. Yeah, you nailed it. Okay, okay, quickly moving on to the third one. Third one is a bit of a uh, difficult one. Bilkul, okay. bilkul Riks Nay Lenega. Bilkul Riks Nay Lenega. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, okay. okay. moving on very fast. Uh, the next one is Apna Time Aiga. Apna Time Aiga. Wow. You're doing well. Okay. Uh, next one is from a, a comedy Hindi movie. It's called Babu Rao Ka Style. Hai, the dialogue. Wow. Okay. What, ye, say it again. Say it again. Ye Babu Rao Ka Style. Hai. Okay. Babu Rao Ka Style. Hai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll say it again. Okay. Okay. Ye Babu Rao Ka Style. Hai. Ye Baugarauka style hai. 
not bad not bad you're doing well okay so uh we'll do a difficult one now because time is running out okay. uh, the one yeah it's called uh, the dialogue is zor zor se bol ke sabko scheme bata de zor zor se bol ke and that's the second part sabko scheme bata de sabko steam bata de yeah i think you have done like well. that Yeah. Oh yeah. Time is running out. Oh no. Yeah. So you've done it. <laughs> yes. I think you've you. done amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I I I think I think we have almost 5 6 ones to keep playing it until you come back for the IPL. Yeah, we'll play again. I'll do much better. You must send yes. me the dialogue beforehand. I'll nail it. I I'll do that. And that brings us to the last segment where we're just going to test your knowledge about your own career. so we are putting okay. kg we are putting kg against kg okay okay uh, so you ready ready okay the first question is where did you play your debut match in each of the three formats uh debut match in uh, uh adelaide and then uh, dhaka and then uh mohali absolutely right All, all three are correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I I have a feeling you're gonna do excellent. You know, there are just ten questions. I believe you're gonna nail nine or ten. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. The second I is. I'd, your, uh, I'd know about myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, your first test victim. Virat Kohli. Right. What were your figures on your ODI debut? Oof. Six for sixteen, right? Yeah, against Bangladesh, and <laughs> that was a guess. Uh, yeah, but that was right. And uh, you you became the youngest South African bowler to take a five for. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, so you also had a ODI hat trick on your debut. Who were the three victims? You have spoken about them, but yeah, here is your question again. Uh, Tommy McPhail, um, Sabir. And not Sabir, uh, Tommy McPhail, um, Mahmudulla, and um, 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 uh, I forgot the other guy's name. Litin Das. Litin Das. That's it. Yeah. Good play. Okay, but yeah, but not bad. Two out of three. Okay. Uh, moving on to the fifth question. What are your best match figures in Test cricket, and who was the opposition? England, and it yeah. was. Oh wait, was it England? Yeah. I think it was thirteen, or oh, a lot of runs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thirteen <laughs> for was it one hundred and twenty-two? One hundred and forty-four. Not not too far. So I gave I myself too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> not as good but, as I think I did. Uh, but but you know. Uh, Uh, those are the second best bowling figures by a South African bowler, and the first one is Antini, who had who gave away twelve runs lesser than you for the same wickets. Okay, awesome. Okay, how many ten wicket match hauls do you have against your name in the tests? Oof, I'm not sure. Three. You're you're not giving yourself in enough credit over here. <laughs> What is it? How many is it? Four. Four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got that. So I got two wrong so far. Oh no. Yeah, but <laughs> but you know, uh, it, it's the joint highest uh, since the time you have made your debut. So you share that with Ashwin and Herat. Oh, nice. Yeah, and, and the most two very very good bowlers. Yeah, and the most by a fast bowler. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, how many test wickets have you claimed? So far, oh, I know that one. One hundred and ninety-seven, I think. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Not not way. far away from two hundred. Not far away from two hundred. Yeah. Another milestone. Okay. Uh, last IPL, how many wickets did you pick up? Twenty-three. Again, you're not giving yourself enough credit, Casey. Twenty-four. Come on. No. Twenty-five. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, and and you know it's it's just one wicket lesser than Imran Tahir, who went on to win the purple cap, and you played five games lesser than him, so that was five. quite an achievement. Yeah, five. Oh wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> I knew he played more, but I thought it was one or two. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, your first IPL victim. I remember this one. Okay. Uh, Patel. Yeah, Patel Patel. Patel Patel. Good yeah. player. Yeah. Uh, your best figures in the IPL. Four for something. Four for twenty. Yeah. Yeah, four for twenty-one. And, oh. Uh, yeah. So very Oops. close. And and you also have another four for in the IPL. Which is uh, four for twenty-two. You uh, did that against SRH. And oh yes. Four for four for twenty-one was against RCB. Yes. So yeah, I think uh, dangerous you, you team. Have, yeah, <laughs> and the ground as well. You know, you're sure to go for a plenty whenever someone goes to their stadium. Uh, uh, KG, just a couple of fan questions before we uh, close this session. Sunanda Gos <clears throat> Sunanda Goswami has asked, "Who is your inspiration in cricket?" Maybe the Villiers is a freak. Just uh, the things that he can do, and I'm being patriotic as well. Jack Callis, I think, is. He's not underrated because he is undoubtedly a great, but I think he's still underrated. Um, it's hard again to 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 picture. I mean, to say one, to say right. one name, is very hard uh, because you know there's so many players around the world. But I'm going to be patriotic. I'll say A. B. De Villiers. Okay. uh that that's a good answer because i i mean in the whole cricket fraternity i i don't think there's anyone who doesn't love ebd less man he's sensational uh, he's, a, he's a freak it's just, it is what it is i admire a lot of players that i play against as well i think there's a f- fantastic talent around the world it's really great to see and it's nice that you get to compete against them you know right uh somedeep sarkar is asking uh he wants to know who would you want to bowl from the previous generations which batsman from the past uh you want to bowl and celebrate his wicket the most that's a tough question i would have loved to bowl against uh, kevin peterson sachin tendulkar tendulkar And let me say three. And Vivian Richards, I would have loved wow. to bowl at least three. Wow, that would have been some competition, you know. And Ricky so Ponting. Exciting. And Ricky Ponting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last two questions, KG. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Uh, okay. Nishchay Kumar wants to know: At what age did you start taking interest in cricket, and decided to become a professional cricketer? uh in high school when i was 16 as uh, so, and i started playing when i was 10 okay yeah. uh p pande is asking what is your favorite food food south african braai i know there's not a lot of meat in india but in south africa we eat a lot of meat south african braai under the sunset uh with a cold cold drink important to stay hydrated and um what else and some nice pop and just like anything on the braai usually th- steak whatever whatever you have um tea bones and then you just enjoy afterwards yeah Also, man. And and we come to our last question. The last question is your favorite bowling partner. You name one from DC and one from 
the South African team. One from DC is between uh, Chris Morris and Ishan Sharma. I think I enjoyed bowling with them. And South Africa. Who did I enjoy bowling with? I enjoy bowling with, with Lungi. And I enjoyed bowling with Vern. Uh, Vern and Philander. Yeah. But uh, if you're my teammate, then, you know, if, I, if I'm on the same team as you, then you're going to be my teammate and I'm going to try and pull you up um, and support you as much as I can. So I don't really have any favorites. Okay, great. Okay, KG, so I, I think uh, uh, we are through with a lot of questions and uh, we want to thank you for coming live with us and answering so many fan questions, man. Thank you so much. Just uh, a message you want to give out to the fans before uh, closing the chat? <laughs> I didn't think about this, but yeah, thank you for the continued support. Um, it's a pity that IPL can't happen this year because of a stupid virus. Um, but, yeah, we, we just hope that you can continue supporting us and keep backing us. And we're there to entertain you guys. So it's a fair exchange. Thank you so much, KG. Thank you. Real pleasure having you on the chat today. All right. No, thank you. Thank you, guys. Cheers, bud. Thanks. Bye.